Ugh. Is this thing on? Is this thing rolling? Okay, I'm rolling. Oh my gosh, y'all. Hey you guys, it's me, Asha C. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So you know, I'm actually like chilling. It's like, what time is it? Girl, it is 12.45 a.m. and I am back on the grind. Surprise, surprise, your girl is back on the grind. Losing Steve, let me start again. Let me start again. Surprise, surprise, your girl is back on the grind. Losing sleep for that paper designer bags on my eyes. Okay? <laughs> we don't do designer bags. We have on our eyes. We do cucumber bags. Today, I'm here to tell you all a story time on how I was the side chick. This is the side chick story part two. Okay? I know. I know what y'all thinking. Y'all like, girl, I thought you learned your lesson back in 20. 15 16 no I didn't I didn't I didn't I didn't learn my lesson I didn't learn my lesson and I should have known better but let me get into the story time so before I even get into the story time I'm going to need you to subscribe okay for more content okay um also I want to start doing some advice and stuff like that and you know telling y'all tea so you know if y'all you know rock with me hit me up at ashvisuals4 at gmail.com you know email me if you have a problem need some advice or have a funny story and you want me to tell it so you know I want to kind of incorporate that on my channel but you know only time will tell so let's get into it so this happened um earlier this last oh i'm saying so like it's 2018 girl so this happened earlier 2018 like spring semester so like this i want to this happened like march april in that whole window but it was april it was april so i've been single for like um, um since 20 like 15 cool no problem uh so I've been single for you know it doesn't really matter anyway so I was like you know let me just get out there or whatever so me and my homegirl um Daibu we're gonna call her T because you know anyways we're gonna call her T so my friend T we you know are on campus we're kind of bored so we're like okay it's like a little kickback tonight cool no problem so she gets invited by some classmates of her and of hers and some friends of mine's of mutual friends basically so i'm just like all right okay let's go so the kickback was like literally like right across the street like okay i'm gonna put a house right here i'm gonna put a house right here right house right here and then you just walk across the street and this is another house you see it you see what i'm talking about okay so yeah so that's when um we go there we cool it we say hey what's up everybody like we're just like yo what's good bro what's up what's up what's up what's happening what's up what's up so we just you know a cool vibe it's a cool vibe then y'all i see this cute he's like kind of not rough looking but like rough looking he's like um think of like bob marley ish then add some luke james in there Mm, Luke James, Bob Marley, like think of that. Like he was really cute. You know, he was a stoner. He was like a stoner. Um, so you know that was really attractive. I was just like, wow, he's really cute. And I was just looking at him like, mm-hmm. You can get it. <laughs> I was looking at him, I'm like, yo, the homeboy. It's, it's not even quiet like he could he could get it Ow. so that's besides the point like he looked really good to me so we were like talking to each other like kind of flirting a little bit and he was like faking like he was gonna take my watch or whatever I had like a Fitbit or something I had a Fitbit so he's like oh, I'm gonna take that watch I'm like no you can't take my watch da -da -da -da. I'm like whatever so um we kind of flirting with each other back and forth and we just for for throughout the night it's like a kickback so we're just playing uno you know turning up slightly it's nothing too like serious or whatever so we and him are still like flirting throughout the night and i'm just looking at him and i'm like you you know let's play a little game just between <laughs> so that was that um we leave because it's, it's it's time to go um, so me and my friend where we dip 
so that probably happened like a Friday or I want to say Saturday night so fast forward she texted me she's like hey you know T's like I didn't even give him a name let me give the guy a name so the guy's name is Bino because I see my makeup trait is Bino that's the brand okay so Bino you know she's like yo um you know my homeboy was like Bino thinks you're really cool and wants your number and I'm like oh okay give him my number now me and my friends see we kiki and cackle at everything like we are never serious so i'm just like oh here we go it's about to be some bs but you know i tried to keep an open mind about it but it, it, ugh, okay so i tried to keep an open mind about it or whatever so that's when you know we're texting and honestly you know you can look at somebody you're like bruh i just know this person is going to be boring as hell they're going to be boring as hell so i'm not even going to bother really entertaining them and having conversation i was wrong he was really entertaining to, to text he was really you know live in person but so he, i get his number and we're just texting like hey hey what's up it's um bino i'm like hey bino what's up and um that's pretty much it we were just texting um nothing too serious so um you know i kind of was texting and i was like okay i'm feeling him i would like to see more of you so he stayed like off campus so like you know he would just like come see me or whatever that's when i was like yeah i'm feeling you and i want to see more of you i didn't say that but that was the vibe that i was giving like you know you know you know the vibes you know the vibes you know the vibes so that was the vibes i was given so and he's like okay you know i'm not busy today like you know how about i come see you so he comes sees me and i mean first of all my apartment was so freaking small like it was like a freaking box it was like this it was so freaking small like i could touch the tv with my hand and i didn't have to get up i can like it was too close so basically he comes over and he sits on my chair and i sit on my bed and we're just talking and i mean we're vibing like we're vibing oc hard like we're talking like we're just we're just having a really casual conversation and nothing is you know leading to sex nothing is like nothing is um nothing is going there like the conversation is really like educated enlightening um it's fun we're laughing we're joking we're talking whatever so you know the time comes like okay you know i'm gonna I'm, I'm about to leave i'm like okay you know cool no problem so you know i catch you later so um i had a nickname for him but i i'm just gonna go ahead and say it so i called him king bougie because he was really like bougie like but like he had like nice taste um he was like an entrepreneur he just had a lot going for himself so i call him king bougie and he called me little bougie because he was real tall and i was kind of short towards him and you know things were going good so this chilling like led for like a couple of days like weeks actually so we're just talking to each other texting each other you know the vibes are exchanged and the vibes were known the vibes were known like the vibes were known like we knew that we liked each other so that was it and i'm like i was pretty much talking to him there was a pattern that i didn't mm, y'all 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 don't clown me i didn't pick up on this so every time we would chill and he would come over we'd probably watch a movie watch a tv just chill and, and vibe out okay his phone would ring and the phone would ring and it would be like someone facetiming him and they would be emojis but i didn't really see what they were and i'm like it could be his mans or something so then he would look at it and he would put the phone like down I'm like okay huh? probably just you know whatever then then it would be it would be like a phone call and then he would just then it would be a series of texts i mean I was just like, okay, this happened like three times and I should have known. I should oh, you should have known better, Monica. Like, I should have known better. I should have just put two and two together because every time I put two and two together, I always end up with like 500 because I get more information that I, that I anticipated for. 
So I'm just like, you know, whatever. I'm giving him the benefit of the doubt. I'm trying not to be crazy. I am trying not to be crazy, but it's like men take me there. Like they take me there and just bring the crazy out of me, okay? They just, they just, you know, you know, like the little voice in my side of my head's like, be crazy, be crazy, be crazy, jump to conclusions, he is trash. Then the other side is like, And I always listen to the crazy. I always listen to her. I always listen to the crazy girl. So I should have picked up on that. I noticed that the vibes were getting weird. The vibes were getting weird, but I was like, you know what? School is hard. He's about to graduate. Let me, let me, let me not. 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 Okay. So we went to this event at my school and it was like a big cookout like everybody was out there it was tired it was it was music it was like a live cookout we had glizzies if you're not from the dmv it's hot dogs we had glicks we had hamburgers we had all of that i haven't really spoke to him but i was looking bomb me t my friend our the whole squad we was there like the vibes was known so i didn't really speak to him that much but i wasn't really worried about it like i promise y'all we ain't do nothing we 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 ain't even we ain't even do nothing like it wasn't even like that he just stopped over because it was tired and then it was like I think it's not like that I think it was raining or cold I think it was raining and I was like I'm not about to just let you you know do that so you could stay so we kind of step on opposite sides or whatever he woke up woke up whatever it didn't anyways so back to the cookout part so we were at the cookout turning up then we go to this other like apartment place type style and we're trying to like see what's up with a couple of our friends because we want to have fun so that's when i see a guy he's tall and i'm like okay he has a hoodie and i'm just like okay 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 that's no problem so i see her and, he, and he's walking with a girl and i'm just like oh okay it didn't really click then i was off the hold on wait a minute i know i was like uh, that is that's bino that's bitch shoot him that's my man that's my man holding hands with another girl i was just like oh gosh he was holding hands with another girl and I wasn't hurt like crying, but I was so pissed. So you know what I said? I was just real mad. And you know, what did you think I did? But let's have a little quiz. What do you think I did? A, I let it go when I was a mature woman. B, I went off. Yeah, that's, that's the two choices. What you, what you think? What you think? A. I was mad and I ranted to my friends because it's just like, dang, like, you cannot trust nobody. Like, I met you, you never brought up girlfriend. We talked about, like, relationships briefly and I kind of told him a little bit of my past. Not so much in depth, but I told him just, you know, small bits. Hey, you know, I've been in a relationship, things didn't work out. Blah, 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 blah. He told me his fair share. But you failed to mention that you had a young friend, okay? If you had a girlfriend, I would never, ever, ever let you in my circumference or my bubble. We would have been cordial. We would have been, hey, hey, friend, hey, friend. And that's what it would have been. And he didn't tell me. And I seen her. I seen him walking, holding hands with the girl. And I don't even know who the girl is. I really don't. But it made sense on who was calling. And I'm just like, are you serious? So like, after that, he knew that I seen him and he didn't say anything. He had, he actually would like, act like he didn't notice me in school or sometimes he would just look at me. And funny thing is he lives in my area. Yes, he lives in my area and it's so weird. But what can you do? Um, what can you do? What can you do? What can you do? What can you do? So long story short, like I said, men are trash. Um, haven't met a solid one yet. Um, ladies, love yourself, creep, 
and find his girlfriend because he got one and he's lying. If he say he don't have one, he does. And if he doesn't even mention a girlfriend, he has one. And if he doesn't mention it, he's cheating on her and you are the side chick. Just kidding, guys. Do not think like that. Men, women have... Men, women be lying too. We be having all types of dudes. We have one to buy us food, one to buy us drink, one to... Just kidding, just kidding, just kidding, just kidding. But no. So, um, this was the story time on where I was partially a side chick, but I find out. Um, I hope you all enjoyed this video, and I'm out of here. Ciao.